In a sense, modern flat earth theory did start off as a spoof. It was started by two quite stoned philosophy professors in, in America who I think kind of thought, what's the most <laughs> ridiculous thing we can promote? And then we can kind of argue against it in a philosophical nature. But like all these things, 20% of people took it seriously and ran with it. But I so flat earth theory, the normal one, standard classic flat earth theory, if you like, it's a bit like the Truman Show. Um, the Earth is a flat round, a flat sort of coin shape. It's got neither an ice wall or a or a, a, a an ice waterfall. They can't quite work out which. Uh, Australia doesn't exist. All Australians you've met are holograms. That's that's the sort of normal theory. I was interested in a splinter group. Yes, I gather there's sort of the people's. The Party people's Judeans, Judeans. <laughs> exactly that. So my splinter group was the Square Flat Earth Society. They believe the Earth is flat but square. And, of course, if the Earth is square and flat, it has four corners. And that's where the expression four corners of the Earth supposedly comes from. And the four corners of the Square Flat Earth, according to the Square Flat Earth people, are randomly the island of Hydra in Greece, Papua New Guinea, uh, the Bermuda Triangle, and an island called Fogo off New Newfoundland. And so that's where I went. I found a flat, a square flat earther in Newfoundland. And you rode to the edge of the world with him? Well, we, dr we did a road trip all the way across Newfoundland and then to Fo onto the island of Fogo, and then you get to the edge where it's a, thing, it's a thing called Brimstone Head. You climb this cliff, you're supposed to look over. And, you know, not much spoilers here. We looked over and <laughs> we couldn't see a drop. He was very disappointed. And then he hired a boat, a, a very reluctant Newfoundland fishing captain. We got on the boat with him and there was a storm coming. He didn't want to go out. Long story short, we went out. He said we have to go back in, and the guy lost his... I mean, just lost his marbles. He claimed that the <laughs> that both me and the boat captain were being paid by George Soros. And I mean, it was fantastic. But Catherine texted in, and I had not heard about this conspiracy theory till I got your book, and then Catherine texted in that Finland doesn't exist. Why is there a conspiracy theory? Okay. What was Finland done? So there's this great uh, chart. It's like a triangle. It's written by someone uh, who drew it online, and it kind of has the gradations of conspiracy. So it starts with things that might be true, and then possibly, and then it just ends up in sort of anti-Semitic you know, crazy nonsense at the top. And I looked down this list and I thought I'd do some of them. And the, the one that really stood out was Finland doesn't exist. As far as I can make out, the, the theory is that in 1917, Russia and Japan conspired to invent a country called Finland because there's actually just sea there uh, so that they could have the, the sole fishing rights. And the fish that was fished from there, because people wouldn't go there thinking because they thought it was Finland, was transported on the Trans-Siberian Express to Tokyo uh, under the guise of Nokia products. I mean, you couldn't make it up. Nokia is like a very old company. It's not just mobile phones, oh. the ones I used. So when you land in, in Finland, you're not landing in Finland, according to it. You're either landing in Sweden and Russia. All the people there are actors. So I thought, because it's very impos it's almost impossible to argue with conspiracists. You, you know, they're always like, you're either in on it or it's impossible to win an argument with them. And so I thought, how do I disprove that? So I thought, I took my poor wife to Finland for three days to try and prove it existed. And it's harder than you think. If you've got your conspiracies head on, you land, it says, welcome to Helsinki. The guy stamps your passport. I go, where am I? He goes, Finland. I go, but am I? And then he goes, well, yes, you are. I go, can you prove it? He goes, look at the map on your phone. I go, yeah, but who's behind the map? It's Bill Gates. You know, and yeah. once you do that... You can't you get can't. out of it. You know? No, you can't get out of and it. And in fact, uh, one of my favourite texters has texted in to say... Um, I don't believe Tom has been to any of the places he's written about. It's a conspiracy. Yeah, well, there he's you never go. been further than Croydon. It's there's all no fiction. Such, there's no such book. And a Photoshop. Yeah. Uh, but you are you, you're going on tour from the 21st of February, starting in Stafford. Yeah, I know. Allegedly. Yeah. And then ending on the 28th of March in Basingstoke. But you're taking a, cons a what you call a well. I thought it was a conspiracist, but it's a conspiracy theorist. Well, no, it's a conspiracist is the say, right term. So you say a respected conspiracist. Is well, he's Dr. Respe Julian Northcote. Dr. Julian Northcote. Tell us why you're taking him so on he's, tour with you. He's respected in his field. He wrote a book uh, which was a sort of breakaway hit in the conspiracy world called Cows, Britain's Secret Killers. Uh, and he... Well, in, that, that's true, though. They well, do it's kill people. The, it's the amount of cows, yeah. the amount of ramblers killed by cows every year, he claims is 17,000... <laughs> people and he thinks the whole thing is is hushed up by big pharma uh and so F -A -R -M -E. F -A, yeah uh, yeah and uh <laughs> he's also he's writing a book at the moment about how he's discovered that Ringo Starr was potentially a KGB agent um well, that could be true could be true yeah you it could know, be working for, people. well it makes sense doesn't it back yeah. in the USSR and yeah. all that stuff octopus's garden is obviously a coded song of some form um but yes yeah, so he he's very much he sort of believes everything that I don't and so I thought because this is such a uh, controversial subject. I thought in, in, the, in the interest of balance, uh, I should have him come along with me. But he's been posting some very strange uh, 